Hey guys, it's me, Whiskey Bloke, and it's time for another Dram Good Review. <laughs> Okay, review time. Um, what can I say? I'm looking forward to this one. I look forward to reviewing whiskey full stop, but I like this one. I like this one a lot. It's one of the ones I literally just fell in love with as soon as I tried it. And some people find it difficult to fall in love with our bag. I think there's been a few that have tried and failed. They've had one sip of the 10, one nose of the 10, and they've gone, nah, nah, can't do it, nah, 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 so not for me, and go, oh, I don't like this, kind of, they're missing out, okay, they should have persisted, they should have carried on, because this one offers something, this one is Ardberg Ukadil, now it's, it's both the cask strength, 54.2%, so, you might want to add a bit of water. Uh, my water's down there. Pugsy is currently guarding it for me with his ferocious snores. So, a few things to notice. This here is what I would call uh, amber in colour. That's what my eyes see right now. You might say, no, it's green. Well, I won't argue with you because I don't like to argue with people. I'm not going to say you're right or wrong, I'm just going to let you say what I'm going to say. Um, this came from Bourbon Barrels and Sherry Butts. That's enough butts, thank you. <laughs> um, sounded funnier in my head. <sighs> yeah, so time to review it. So we'll start off as we always do. It's been a while, I've been messing around with the various things. I've uh, been a bit distracted, you know, so I haven't been able to give full attention to my whisker reviews but you know it's with good reason i was advised to help increase the value on the house i should look at knocking down uh well basically just knocking two rooms into one so you know i'm always up for increasing value and stuff like that so now my lounge is uh 16 feet high and I no longer have a bedroom. Still got my whiskey room though. Right, so, I should be nosing this in a capita. Capita? Capita. 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 Loads of people pronounce it differently. My mum pronounces it glass. I like that smell. I would happily, happily have this as an aftershave. Pulled over by the police. Sir, you smell like a whiskey. A fine whiskey. Off you go. That's all, that's, I think that'd be all they'd say. So. Okay, first thing for getting on the nose. Let's, let's look at this now. It's smoky, it's salty, it's a nice, nice, salty ocean front. When I went to Fasil, I got there for the Ardbeg bit and went to the ocean front. It's that kind of smell. Make sure no one stood in front of you, I've always smell them when the wind blows in. You need to be stood in front of them so that they smell you. And if you time it right, <laughs> I, I, I grow up. No, I won't say that. That's very nice. It's like a salty kind of chocolate, salted caramel. It's smoky, I think I've said smoky. Oh, so good.
There's a different edge to the chocolate the more that breathes. Bear in mind this is prior to water. We'll do a bit more after water. Okay? Now it's time to palletise this. Mm. Mm. On the palate, we're getting rather intense smokiness. It's got smoky fruitcake, honey. It smells in my mouth like I've just taken a mouthful of barbecue smoke. I'm literally like, mm -mm. it's so it, it, it's intense with what you're getting on the smoky side of things, yet it's oily and it's sweet with honey. Very nice. It's also quite chewy. <laughs> it's chewy in the sense of its, its overall how it feels in the mouth as you're chewing it before you swallow. Mm. I think this is going to change quite drastically when we add some water and bring down the alcohol percentage. Let's add some water and see what we get. Right, let's have a bit of this on the air, on my nose. Right, the water has just increased the smokiness. Everything's so much more smoky. Oh. Smoky chocolate, smoky, even more so than before. And the saltiness is really in the nostrils. I don't know if your mum ever played the game with you that mine used to play. You'd take me out to the sea and you'd hold me under for three minutes. And when I came up after about two minutes, 20, because I really couldn't do the three minutes, so I lost the game. Uh, I, yeah, I couldn't have supper that night and stuff, but it's fine. Um, my brother lost as well, so it's fine. But like, the, I coughed up and like the sea came through my nose a bit and it was so salty in there. That's what this is like now. Oh, it's really good. Mm. With water, it's less intense than before, but it's... I'm not sure which way I prefer it. One thing I have noticed though, have you ever tried it with bacon, if, if you eat bacon, and you're covering it in maple syrup, and you sizzle it away so it goes crispy? I'm getting that. Really nice. This would go well with that if you eat that. Right, finish. The finish is long, it's quite dry, but it's sweet. It leaves an undeniable flavour in your mouth. Really good. I would compare the sweetness to treacle. It's a girl I used to. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I would compare the sweetness to treacle. Mm, really nice. There it is. That's my review. I recommend this whiskey. Nice. If you like your Ardbegs, if you like your Islas, I would compare this to. Uh, it, actually, no. If you like Lagavulin in 16, I will say that you will like this one. Yeah, 54.2% prior to water, probably less than 50 with water, probably 48. I don't know which I prefer. Left me hanging. Like a good book. And this, like a good book, makes me want to finish it tonight. Anyway, I've been Whiskey Bloke, you've been the audience. Pugsy.
Rex, Adberg, Yugadil. Another Dram Good Review. I'll see you on the next video.